Demafro is a leading Canadian specialty cheesemaker. Its success can be traced back to its European origin. Founder Claude Bonnet has been practicing the art of cheesemaking for a long time. He owned a cheese factory renowned for its excellent quality in grisy sur seine in France's Brie region, where cheese of the same name is king. In 1981, he came to Canada with his family, settling in the province of Quebec with the intention of producing cheese, especially soft ripened varieties. The family put down roots in St. Damas, where Mr. Bonnet found a plant large enough to house his tanks and maturing rooms. Through many years of perfecting its craft, Damafro has developed a vast array of products that can turn your meals into veritable feasts. From fresh cheeses and yogurts, to firm cheeses, bloomy or washed rind cheeses, savoring Damafro cheese is a pleasure to be rediscovered time after time as well as a smart choice for a healthy diet. For the past few years, the company has also been offering strictly kosher products, as well as a recently introduced selection of organic specialty cheeses. Mr. Claude Bonnet, whose experience in France has benefited specialty cheese manufacturing in Canada, has now handed over the reins of the company to his two sons, Philip and Michel. The quality of Demafro products has been recognized time and time again, winning top prizes at provincial, national and international levels. After solidly establishing itself in Quebec and then in Ontario, Demafro cheeses are now sold from coast to coast on the Canadian market. Demafro can boast of having conquered approximately 40% of the market share of domestic soft cheeses in Canada. The company's annual sales range from 25 to 50 million dollars. 10% of the company's sales are outside of Canada. With the export market constantly developing, Demafro aims to increase its exports to 20% over the next two years by developing the South American market, especially Mexico. Demafro's greatest challenge was to change the Americans' perception that its products were American-made because of the two countries' close proximity to each other. Demafro therefore needed to convince its customers that it is a French-Canadian company and that its products should be identified with French Brie, which is the benchmark of soft cheese today. Over the years, Demafro has used highly effective European technology not found anywhere else in North America to manufacture its cheese. Because Demafro is always looking for new products to manufacture, it does its own research and development in its quest for new product opportunities. Company directors also travel regularly to Europe and elsewhere to keep abreast of the newest technological developments and the latest milk products that are in demand or new on the market. The company has HACCP accreditation, meaning Hazard Analysis Critical Control Point. To ensure the quality and safety of its products, this stringent preventative control system is applied at every step of the cheese making process. Cheese production involves seven distinct steps. First, the milk is pasteurized and sent into vats. It is then stirred to obtain a homogeneous temperature. While in the vats, the milk is curdled, that is, it passes from liquid to solid state through coagulation. Next comes slicing to help drain the whey. separates on one side the curdle milk and on the other the lactose serum or whey. The cheese is then set into molds that will give it its shape.
Once the cheese is in its perforated mold, the whey will be drained through pressing for certain types of cheese. naturally for others. Fresh unripened cheeses are sent directly to packaging following the draining process. After demolding comes the salting process, which serves several purposes. It is antiseptic, it stabilizes the humidity rate, determines the appearance of the cheese, reinforces the rind, and, most importantly, contributes to taste. Curing is the period of biological maturation during which the texture and taste of the cheese is created in various manners. During this period, which can last anywhere from a few days to a few months, the cheese is placed in a drying room where the humidity rate and temperature are precisely controlled. At this stage, the cheese may be brushed, washed, turned, or seeded, depending on the type of cheese. Depending on the method used, curing will produce a countless array of rinds, from bloomy, or washed, to naturally ripened, or dry. Curing requires particular skills from the cheesemaker and calls for daily work. At each aging step, the cheesemaker must be on the lookout for even the smallest sign from the rind, especially color, odor, and texture. The right move at the right moment becomes a determining factor in the quality of the product. Dimafro is carrying on the noble European tradition of superior cheesemaking carefully selected basic ingredients, a unique savoir-faire and a love of the craft make up the recipe that has made Dimafro a flagship of the Canadian cheese industry. Dimafro has set two objectives, becoming the North American reference in specialty cheeses and conquering the South American market. Dimafro is proud to offer you its range of superior products. It is the cheese of choice at the table of discriminant consumers and fine gourmets.